Hallelujah. Five. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody hand her a mic. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Then uh, yesterday, Saturday, I was so sick. I came out very late. And everybody knowing me, I don't come to church late. Brethren, from last year, 2022, we came here with five young men. There was a little disturb. But when the preacher get on the stand, a sister came to me and said, you know the boys want to be baptized. And all four boys were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. So we went home with four baptized and one filled. And that four leads and go home and they bring another three souls. Glory to God. We're talking about young men. We're talking about young men. Hallelujah. Boys. But thanks be to God. Thank you. Glory to God. And the beginning of this year, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God have been blessing us. Hallelujah. In Bungers Hill. Long, long way to be here. Hallelujah. But our bishop, hallelujah, give us the theme. Recover recover oh. and when we recover let it be purposeful you, and we have recovered up until week before last 14 souls thank you to Jesus. Be baptized in oh glory Jesus. to God glory to God one more filled with the Holy Ghost and coming here brethren from Friday morning we are here and a little sister she said she wanted to be baptized last year. But when baptism was going on, she fell asleep. And as she came on the bus Friday, she said to her auntie, Auntie, you want baptized tonight? Her auntie said to her, wait until church dismiss. She said, no, she not wait until church dismiss. And she came to me and said, Sister Scarlett, I want to be baptized. Thank you, Jesus. I said, true. I didn't ask her why. Hear her. Oh, you not ask me why me want baptized. I said, why you want baptized? He said, because I don't want to go to hell. And she was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God, brethren. Hallelujah, my pastor, District Elder Beckford. We have been working assiduously over on that side. And I'm telling you about Saturday. See this rug in my hand. Glory to God. It no wash yet. I was sick. I mean sick. Glory to God. Oh God. And I sat around there in the back. Came to church very late. And sat around there. Glory to God. I don't know. But God pitched our bishop from us at Rastom. Glory to God. And he touched me. Glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And every area of my body. Hallelujah. That was aching. Hallelujah. Immediately, brethren, I felt better. I know he went. And he went in my back. I thought he only prayed. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's when I went to him and taking off my clothes yeah. Lord God I see this rock I said Jesus Christ <laughs> and I, I hold it up it no wash my God the level of the anointing thank you Jesus and I will wash it and I keep it in my bag God is good always put up for Jesus put out for Jesus and God will bless you. God bless you. So we're going home. Back to Trelawney with another soul that have been baptized in the name of Jesus. Pray for us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Go ahead, my sister. Bless the Lord. Thank God I'm free. 
I'm free like the bird in the tree. God bless you. You know. <laughs> God bless you. I am a... lot of reason to sing that song because I, I was I remember when calling is on my life and I never understand my God. I start to feel bad yes. I start to feel sicker you know say a friend I always know a mother woman or a mother man uh -huh. so when I said me not feel good you know he always said well me know a mother woman up, up the road or so so anyway me feel dumb me feel bad me feel sick good God. so my friend came to the mother woman I'm going to go to the mother woman, why? You know, see, I want some check panda. I can't do it right now, come to your work. Anyway, I make my parents do it because I want help. You know, so when you're not seen, I hear something like that, you want help. Because that, um, that time, I never know that there's a calling it's on my life. So when I went to the mother woman now, she used one cigarette and tell me everything. When it's 10 pack of cigarette done, she done. So she said to me, say, um, you know that they set demons for you, and you have to go buy seven pair of clothes, because you have to go beach seven times every morning. But I leave that country. I don't have no, no beach or nothing. So I ask one of my friends um, if I can come out of yard, come stay, come on, go to the river, and come on, get over it up here for me. Anyway, you now, when I went, he said, I forgot this beach six o'clock every morning and read Psalms 27. And I was there, I'll buy Mr. Mush up my friend, two Bible them. Cause the mother woman said, if you dip in the water with the Bible, dip in the water. Bless the Lord, it didn't stop there. So um, the mother woman tell me that I need seven pair of clothes, because you know what saying said, I have to let go, let go the dopey in the water. Every morning I go and change a change of clothes. When I look at my foot, I still see the clothes. We say no, sir, but she say, sorry, sorry. We say no, sir, but she tell me, say every morning, we feel let go and suit her clothes, cut it up, we go let go. Each morning I go, I see the clothes surrounding me. So me say no, sir. So the last morning when I go, me see all the people at the beach. So me nobody got the beach today. Come in, also them I go say no, sir. We so much clothes in the um, water. So anyway, I went to another beach, and I go in the water and I take off the clothes and let it go and put on a fresh clothes. Come me say want to do it come on for me. But sense of God, you see when God a call you know? Yes. You know, nah, no. That's all if you always have a good friend. That means that when I say, you know, feel good, then say, come to Jesus. First thing I'm tell her, say, come to mother. Right now, I want to tell that mother, say, I'm free. I Hallelujah. want to tell that mother. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Thank you, Jesus. I want to tell that mother to come and see a man. I want to tell that mother, God gave him a gift. Come to Jesus. Yes. Because I remember when he helped me. Giving him money, she said, Don't give me any money, bring it to the church. Mother, our father, come to Jesus. God is here to bring you to God. Do it for me, God can do it for you, mother, woman, gunman, thief. Come and see a man, see a character, no more. God bless you. Who got the free? Free indeed. Hallelujah. Come on, saints of God, shout a praise. Shout a praise in the house. Hallelujah. No weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. Go ahead and testify, my sister. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. I can truly say I am glad to be in this house one more time. You know, when I hear about coming up here to Bishop Agriscott, I just thought I have a flashback about last year, saints of God. On the 18th of March, I went to the garage to service the car to go to Kingston to service with our bishop on the Sunday. And since I've got the enemy decide to step in, but when the devil stepped in, God said no. You know when the car was up on the ram, many of you that go to the garage know how brought that piece of iron be where you drive the car on. And since I've got the man say he finished and he let down the ram, 
For some reason, when I was opening the back door to get my bag to pay him, I feel my big toe was crushing. And I start hollering at me, I say, but the man saying, let down the ram, so how that? I put up the left foot first, so every time I supposed to lift the right one, I realize it can't move. When I look down in the slippers, the toe come off, says of God. My God. But there's something in me set to push it on, and the hot blood. And I push on the piece of toe, and the hot blood. And I remember I call Evangelist Cunning, and I said, where are you? And all I was there bawling, and I said, I'm at this garage. And they came, him and his wife, and Evangelist Mary. And they took me to the hospital, and says of God, I passed so many blood. And when I was over there, I wonder when I was going to get through. But God is good. Our dear sister Syria was there working, and she did her best. She leave from her department, and she came around where he was, and she helped to push me through. And says of God, when I was in the room that they're going to stitch that toe, man, though. I feel the life left in my body. I hang on to Sister Connie and I said, I don't like this feeling. I feel like the breath is left in my body. And everything I start to see was some great cloud saints of God. And they, I hang on to both of them, Sister Siri and Sister Tracy at the time. And I hung on to them. I said, I don't like this feeling. And the doctor was saying, yeah, all right. I said, no, you can't tell me that. I pee a great cloud me I see. I'm a feel like the breath I left my body and they start to put on the drip on me saints of God it did not stop there I said doctor me not stay here tonight me I go to church tonight because me no want to admit me saints of God and I went home that same night I went to church and my bishop came and he said that is an attack straight from the pit of hell I normally supposed to leave those time to go overseas and missionary Ellis was there when I received those calls and I could not move because the enemy would decide to stop me. But guess what? I still have the tour. Many did not know no nails would have come back in at the tour. My God. It may not come back as perfect as it was, but I'm giving God thanks tonight Thank you, uh, that I have my tour. Yes. And something here as a tour near sins of God. I remember the service last year. I wanted to be here. All I could do is stay home, watch it on the live. And when I look and see the prophetic of the anointing and my bishop moving, oh God, there's something on the inside. I said, God, I should have been there. But guess what? Devil, I'm here tonight. I'm walking on my feet tonight. Uh. I'm standing on my feet tonight. Yes. Uh. The moment I wanted to come, I was supposed to come to it, but I changed. And because I decided that this testimony, I got to give it. Uh. I said, I'm not waiting on you guys. You're moving too late. Uh. And the testimony service now passed me. Oh, God, I'm supposed to go with Brother Wendy. I call him. I said, I'm not coming. Hey. I'm going now. Uh. Rikusha. Thank you, Jesus. Rimanda Kator. I'm Osi. I'm coming to tell the devil, I'm here one more time. Yes. I'm here. I'm here. Rikata. Because the enemy wants to take away my feet. But God said, no. Saints of God, I can tell you. God cushion the rest of my feet. Cause when I look at the state of the iron, and when I realize I only want to, nobody else could do it but Jesus. Thank you, you Jesus. You don't understand. Recushioned. You don't understand what the enemy. I don't know why the devil don't like me, but I'm here to tell the devil, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna put down. Oh God, there's yeah, some rough road, some rough patches, but I'm gonna sail through them. I'm not giving up. I'm not letting go. I'm not showing the towel. And I wanna say thank you, Jesus, from my bishop, 
who framed it through. I was in, in Kingston in the last part of it, of recovering. And every time I go to church, he will come and he put one of those anointed rug. Because the doctor said it would have taken a little while before I recovered. But through my anointing, Vessel Bishop, Winston George Baker, every time he put the rug, he gets healed a little bit faster. And I want to applaud him in his absence. I want to say thank you, Jesus for placing me under his ministry. I'm not gonna tell you the road is easy, but I'm here to tell you, I'm not giving up. You pray my strength while I do the same for you in Jesus' name. I am a warrior. I am a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Go ahead and testify. Praise the Lord. I said five. We have three down. Glory to God. Two more to go. Glory to God. Shall we praise the Lord, saints? Praise the Lord. Shall we lift up the name of Jesus? Glory be to God. As our sister was saying, glory be to God that we are a warrior. Tonight, I can say that I am an overcomer. You know, when I came here since night, saints of God, and I sat here and I saw my mother wave her hands to me. I have to give God thanks tonight. Saints of God, you know, understand, I was the body speaking my mother have. Glory be to God, I was the rebellion one. Glory be to God. And you know, saints of God, when I look and I see my mother tonight, even though they think that nothing could not come out of me, glory be to God, when I take out the gun, when I take out the drugs, Lord God Almighty and family member, turn your back on me. But tonight I am in church with my mother. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me. Me get through out at the age of 12. My mother is right here. And when me get through out, saints of God, mother, me love you. Because your destiny was to stop at the age of 12 with me. God already in it to be. Me go testify come here try to help a young man and a young lady. Glory be to God. And when I look and I see I have no family to stand by me. One girl child. Glory be to God. I take up the gun. I take up the drugs. I lock up in a prison. Lord God, I didn't have any mother to stand by me. But when my mother see me a preach, Lord God Almighty, she has to lift her hand and say, look at my daughter. Tonight, mother, I salute you. Because I knew it was a yo, but God I didn't need to be like that. Because purpose, 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 purpose. You don't understand it, you know. Me see a two gun, me one used to carry, and the best one that is my real gun that I want, silver chrome. That no left me none at all. Me mother said me pick it. When I get locked up, no call me. Me say, Mama, I won't call you. And when I went and I get locked up, I was there alone and I call her and I said, Listen to me. Me do something bad. And I don't want you to come and bail me. No. And saints of God tonight, when I look and I saw my mother sitting right there, I said, Thank you, Jesus. Because sometimes in life, uh, we as parents, we treat our children bad. Uh, we, 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 we throw them aside. Uh, but it was God who allowed it to be. Uh, because purpose was inside. Uh, I am the only one of my mother's children uh, out of the four away uh, that is standing firm for Jesus. God really know. Young men, if you are hungry, gun and the jokes, you know. I sent Elizabeth me from, and me can't talk. When me come, I sent Elizabeth me now, wall on me mouth, because it wasn't me, and I proud me proud I it. But the devil take me over at that time. But look what the Lord has done. 
I'm a new creature. No more gun. No more drugs. No more excursionists. No more prison house. But I'm in the house of the Lord. Tonight I want to tell somebody, don't feel no way, mama. I love you to my heart. Glory be to God, but I'm trying to help a young man. A young lady, if your parents abandoned you, don't have them up. Loosen them, man. Forgive them. Forgive them. Serve God good. Forgive your parents. God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Look what Jesus did when he washed me, when he washed me, when he washed me. Oh, look what Jesus did when he when he washed me in the blood of the Oh, I said, look what Jesus did when he washed me, when he washed me, when he washed me. Oh, look what Jesus did when he, when he washed me in the blood of the Lamb. I am saved, and I know that I am saved. Yes, I am saved, and I know that when he washed me in the blood of the Jesus did when he washed me, when he washed me, when he washed me. Oh, look what Jesus did when he washed me, when he washed me in the blood of God. Yes, I am saved, and I know that I am saved, and I know that I, I am saved. Oh, I am saved by the blood of the Lamb. Look what Jesus did when he washed me, when he washed me, when he just look, look what Jesus did when he oh when he washed me in the blood of I am saved. Testify, testify, and I know that I am when he washed me in the blood of Oh, I said, look what Jesus, look what Jesus, look what Jesus, look what Jesus. Look what Jesus, look what Jesus, when they wash me in the blood. Look what Jesus, look what Jesus. I said to look what Oh, look what Jesus. Yeah, look. I said to look what Oh, look what When they wash me in the blood. I'm mighty lamb, well on. I'm mighty lamb, well on. Oh, I'm mighty lamb, well on. I'm mighty lamb, well on. to sickness, you brought me to, hallelujah, you brought me to sorrow, oh, you brought me to shame, I am that is the reason, I cannot apply, look where you brought me from, I might tell I'm well, I said my till I'm well, oh, thank you, my till I'm well, I might tell I'm well, To sickness, you brought me to shame. You brought me to sorrow. Oh God, you brought me to shame. Oh, and that is the reason why I cannot complain. Look where you brought me from. Just look where you brought me from. I might tell you. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Just look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Just look where you brought me from. Just look where you brought me from. Just look where you look where you Just look where you brought me from. Just look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Just look where you look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Am I too loud? Where you brought me to sickness? You brought me to hallelujah. Sorrows. You brought me to and that is the reason I cannot come. Look where you brought me from. 
Jesus, look where you look where you look where you brought me from. I said, look where you brought me from. Look where you look where you look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. I might be long way. From. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. You brought me to sickness. Hallelujah. You brought me to pain. You brought me to sorrows. You brought me to shame. That is the reason why I cannot, I cannot complain. Look where you brought me from. Look where. You brought me to sickness. You brought me to shame. You brought me to sorrows. You brought me to pain. And that is the reason why I cannot complain. A shy. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. I shot you, son. I... Look where you brought me from. Is anybody grateful? Do I have a grateful one? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, look where you brought me from. I'm mighty love way. Lift up your voice and give him praise. Open up your mouth and give him praise. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Come on, somebody worship. Worship. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Open up your mouth, brethren. Look where you brought me from. He's brought us to sickness. Hallelujah. You brought me to shame. You brought me to sorrows. You brought me to pain. And that is the reason why. I cannot complain. Look where you brought me from. A mighty long way. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to take those two final testimonies. The persons that were standing right here, go ahead and testify of the goodness of God. We praise the Lord. We praise God. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord with you wonderful Jesus. I had a testimony. Hallelujah, glory to God. And I'm here to testify about the healing power of God. When I came on Friday, I will say I'm not going to be testify about it. Because 
11 years I'm coming here yes. and I've been testifying about the healing power. Yeah. But God said you need to testify tonight because there's somebody who wants to be delivered. Glory so I want testify. to be obedient to the voice of the Lord. Yes. It was 2011. I took sick. And when my sister bring me to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, Hallelujah. when they run all tests on me, they said I was schizophrenia. That means only one string holding me up from eating out of a garbage pan. Yes. And so they put me on the psychiatrist department. And when I was going to the psychiatrist clinic, they gave me some pill for my depression. Yeah. But I felt worse. My God. I said to the psychiatrist, I don't want any more of your pill. My God. Because when I took it, I am getting worse. And when they gave me the pill, at times I just run around the yard. At times I don't know myself. So they admit me to the Cornwall Regional Hospital. If I hear what Regional Hospital, 10th floor, I'm mad people today. That's where they took me. Because they said, I am a mad man. Yes, I was a mad man. Tearing mad. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I was in the Cornwall Regional Hospital for five days. Mad man. My God. Glory to God. After that, they discharged me to go home. I was a mad man. In my home, my sister carried my medication and they pushed it through the window. I was locked away. And I remember I had some friends and they heard that I was in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. I was a mad man. So they called me and told me to visit them in Montego Bay. I went to visit them. They took me to the mother woman. Glory to God. The mother woman said he, she can help me. So she gave me a bottle of medicine. She said when I took the bottle of medicine, I am going to be okay. I took the first bottle. I was still getting worse. That time I see the garbage pan. Jesus. When I took that first bottle, I couldn't buy the second one. So I went to the mother woman. I said, could you trust me the second bottle? She trusts me the second bottle. And when the second bottle leave, there was one drink leave in the second bottle. I couldn't pay for the second bottle, so she's not going to trust me the third one. But I realized that Sunday morning, when the second bottle of the last drink left, that is the time I'm going to seek the face of the Lord. I seek the mother woman. I seek the psychiatrist. But I did not seek the face of the Lord. My God. And when that last drink left that Sunday morning, yeah. I said, God, this is the last drink left in the bottle. I can't pay for this drink. So how oh, am I going to pay for the second drink? And I took the last drink, hallelujah. And after I take the last drink, I lie down in my bed. I hear a soft voice say to me, only Jesus can help you. I did not succumb to the first calling, but it comes a second time. And he said, only Jesus can help you. I did not suck on to the second calling. But when it comes the third time, and he said, only Jesus can help you. I jump up out, and I go in a basket, 
and I take out a dress and I take a Bible in my right hand. And I heard a voice said, because my sisters, they are Jehovah's Witnesses. They bring me to Kingdom Hall. But when I come back, I am worse. Because no power is in Kingdom Hall to deliver me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when I set off, my daughter said to me, Mommy, you're going to Jehovah's Witness Church with my, sister, my auntie this morning. I said, no. God said, I should go to a church where I can sing and clap. And I went downtown, hallelujah. I was looking for a church. I want my deliverance. I was a tearing mad one walking downtown that Sunday morning. When I saw a sister across the civic center, and I went to her. I said, you know, any church open this morning, I need to believe her. Look for me. We might be talking to but we are mad one I come from 10th floor. And she said, look at me. And she walked from here down that hen. And she walked back and she said, look at me. Am I walking? I said, yes. He said, I was crippled for five years. But I went to the church in Anchovy, on the long lane. Hallelujah, Basata. Hey, mama, mama, I see you, you low, baba. That's where I got my deliverance. And I, she said to me, if you go there right now, you can get your deliverance. I'll shoot off like Usain Bolt. <laughs> And when I reach at courts, hallelujah, glory to God, I saw the tribe. I said, you know that church, hallelujah, on the long lane, in Anchovy, I need to go there this morning. And I sat in the front, and when I reached there, he said, that's the church over there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When I went in the churchyard, there was a sister there sweeping. I said, I came for my deliverance. Ah. But I see that church as not beginning as yet, but I'm not leaving. And when I sat there, glory to God, hallelujah, the enemy said to me, come out of the church and go downtown. I said to the sister, I am coming out of the church, you know. I don't tell me, they go, me can't stay here so no more, because this church take too long to start. I am leaving now. She said, I called Bishop Mario already and tell him that you're coming. He's expecting. I said, I don't business. Me want my deliverance. I'm me to go downtown right now. And when I reach glory to God at the gate, I stop the taxis. Eight taxi bling me. They can't take me. I went back inside, yeah. and when the sister see me, she started to smile. She said, you come back for your deliverance. Yes. And when Sunday school start, going to Sunday school, madam man, you not clean clothes. Madam man, don't know nothing. Madam man, hallelujah, left to eat out of a garbage pan. But when Sunday school over, I saw a sister, and I said to the sister, bring me to pastor. And he said, come. And she bring me around the back. And she placed me at the baptism room. Hallelujah. At the baptism pool. That was the first step. And he went and he called Bishop Mary. Hallelujah. And when I look, I see Bishop Mary hurrying like when you have an accident in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. And the doctor, hallelujah, is in emergency. Hey, Mama. And when he came, I said to him, I need your prayers. Yeah. He didn't ask me for what. He said, come. And he took my hand yeah. and he brought me in the office where Evangelist Mary were there sitting down. The lady to bring the word was in the office. And when I went into the office, glory to God. Bishop Mary didn't tell him my situation because I did not tell him. I only tell him that I need priors. And when he went in there, he said, this, young, this lady said, he need our priors. And they all stood up. And when Bishop Mary, hallelujah, glory to his name, when he put his hands on me and he started to pray 
and evangelist Mary start to pray. And the other lady that came to minister the word start to pray. I felt a knot loose from the middle of my head. Go, hey, Mama Massa. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Mama Massio. I felt a knot from the top of my head loose, and it came down in my back. That same morning, I was healed that same morning. Thank you, Jesus. I was, I was, I was filled with the Holy Ghost that same morning. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I was baptized in the name of Jesus that same morning. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> I want to tell you the healing power of this man, Christ Jesus. Yeah. I have never taken a medication from 2011. Psychiatrists never see this face Thank again. Thank you, Jesus. Ted Bloor never see this face oh. again. I am healed by the blood of Jesus. Thank Christ. you, Jesus. I want to tell you I am coming down. I want to tell you, I owe God over three million dollars oh my God, my God, because my God. of my medication. <laughs> but all that God wants is my worship. All he wants is my honor. <laughs> all he wants is his glory. <laughs> I want to tell you, if you come here as a mad woman, the power of God is in here. The power of God is in here. The power, if you're mad, you shall be sober That's it. in Jesus' name. Oh, glory. Come on, church. Shout, thank you, Jesus. Shout, a thank you, Jesus. One last time, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. He's the same God of yesterday. He's the same God today. And he's the same God forevermore. Glory to God. Go ahead and testify, my sister. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Glory to God. I just feel it in my heart, in my body, to just give God some praise. I just want to begin my testimony with three hallelujahs. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. The Lord said to me to send off three missiles before I testified. Brethren, in 2021, I was at home. It was a Sunday morning. And I got up out of a dream. I was crying. I was weak. I was trembling. I called Missionary Bent and I told her the dream that I had. And she said, Sister, I am going to run by church and I'm going to share it with Bishop. I said, okay. She said, I will get back to you, but we are going to be praying. Yeah. In the dream, it was Christmas in the dream. And I love to cook. I love to bake. So I did that. I invite everybody over for cooking, for baking, everything. I invite my entire family. And we have a feast. And Bridget, it was Christmas in the dream. Same way we do it physically in the life is the same way in the dream. The same cooking, baking, and everything. And I remember when I was inside a house and I felt the atmosphere shift on the outside. And I said to my sisters um, that was there, I said, I felt the atmosphere shift on the outside. Something disturbed the atmosphere. And I am going outside. I was going to leave the baby. And I said, no, you know what? I'm going to take her with me. So I hooked her on my side and I went outside. I was outside talking to a lady. And then I said, no, something is terrible wrong inside my house. I'm going back inside. The atmosphere shifted inside my house. And I went back inside, Virgin. And when I went inside, each step I take, it felt a little bit more intensified. It gets a little bit more intensified. It was like I was walking in hell itself. And when I got down to the kitchen, I said, it started here in the kitchen. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what happened in here? I need to know. 
what I am up against. And brethren, when I look at the window to the fridge, they, it was like it was pushed out and it lines with rusty nail right around. And I step outside and I say, what you want? See me here. Deliver the word where you come to me with. And the lady came to me and she said to me that, we have, they have been trying after you for so long and the distance is not happening. So they said that I should come here in person and I cannot touch you. So in order to get you down to reach to you, I have to touch what you love. Yes. Bridget, I have the baby on my side still because I determined I, I'm not going to put her down. And I said to the lady, well, thank you very much. She said, I, you know who? Because the Lord shows you them in dreams. I said, yes, I know who you're talking. And I went back inside. And Bridget, when I went back inside, I felt my strength dropped in my body. And I went down on my knees with the baby on my side because I knew I couldn't let her go. And I started to pray, I started to cry, I pray until everything leave my body. I began to draw on the floor straight up to the living room. And when I reached the living room, my sister said, my mother said, take up your sister. And my sister said, no, if there is one thing me know about my sister, she can not pray. Make God deliver her, make she stay there and fight her way. No, my sister is no saint, she's not a Christian, she doesn't even believe in her God. And brethren... I stayed there and I heard a voice said to me, all I need is in the name. Yes. So I began to say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And while I was breathing, Jesus, my strength came back and I could have stand up. And somebody came to me and the gentleman said to me that I need help. And the Lord said I should call my bishop, Bishop Scott. And I called Bishop Scott in the dream and he said to me, my beloved warrior, that's the same way he talks, brethren. You need to leave the house, need to be consecrated by prayer and fasting. Devil from hell tempered with the house. And brethren, I took Sarah and I went outside. I was looking for my husband. They said that he wasn't there. So I said, thank God he's okay. Then if he wasn't on the platform and it right there. And I took Sarah, went outside and somebody said to me, somebody leave in the house. They said, no, nobody not in there. I just said three of us alone. They said, yes. When I went back inside, there was a lady with a boy baby in her hand. There was something in the baby's mouth and the baby was, the lady was blank. I was talking to her, but nothing wasn't coming from her. She was blank. The baby was there eating the ear. When I pulled the ear, brethren, the ear was so black. It was pitch black. I pulled it out. It was so long. And I pulled it out. One shoelace was in. In the middle of it and when I said to I said no man you get a full dose away when you come here for me so I laid my hand on her forehead and I said in the name of Jesus I command you to get up and the lady get up and I said don't move if you move this baby is a dead baby so I began to pray for the baby and then I said to her come let's move it's not safe here and when I went outside I got a drive in the dream bridging when I get the drive I was going to tell the driver where to leave me and I said to him, no, you know what? The Lord said, I know when to stop you. And I went on, then I woke up out of the dream. That Sunday morning, I was, when I woke up, I was crying. My heart was racing. I was in so much shock. It felt so real. It was like it happened there at the time. And I said, but wait, the Lord said I should call my bishop. So I called missionary Bent, and I told her. And she ran to bishop, and bishop have the prayer team up here prayed. God bless you, prayer team. I honor God for you. And I honor God for you, Bishop Scott. And when they began praying, Bridget, that was Sunday morning. Monday, everything was okay, but I knew something was coming. So I started to fast. I started to pray. Tuesday, I knew something was coming just the same. I said, we're laughing, but something coming with we I believe we have a rough ride for the next couple of weeks. And my sister said, no, say that. I said, well, it is so because the Lord said so, so prepare yourself. And bridging the Wednesday, I was talking to somebody, went back inside. When I went to the bathroom, I felt as if something hit me in my forehead and my body, my, my energy dropped. And I felt as if I was going to black out. I went back inside and I went to bed. And I was there sleeping. I felt my heart stop three times. I was calling out to my husband and 
my husband didn't hear me and the Lord woke me up. I realized it was a dream, but it felt so real. When I got up, I grabbed the olive oil because I put it right at the bedside table. To my head, brethren, me not like drink olive oil, but me name one dead. So me drink some of me saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, child, you're not dead. Go back, go sleep. No fear, no evil. I prayed over myself. I encouraged myself. I asked my husband, did you hear me calling? He said, no, bees. I said, okay, back to bed then, Manda. So I went back to my bed. And when I went back to my bed, I got up the morning, brethren, when I jumped off the bed, I collapsed on the floor. I was weak. I was so sick. I couldn't move. Everything in me was, it was gone. My husband has to call in and let them know that I am not well so that he would, he would be there with me. Mm. Friday, I got a little bit worse. Saturday, I got a little bit worse. Sunday, when I got up bridging, when me do so idiot gone, me say, well, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When I sit like this, I feel the strength. Me say, mm-hmm, I feel them time now, so get radical, girl, child. So I began to fast and pray some more because I knew that something was coming. Brethren, Sarah took sick. She started just throwing up, just fear vomiting, just vomiting, but the prayer team was on it. She was vomiting, but she was in intensive care in the hands of God. Brethren, she was vomiting. She vomited, she started bringing up blood. My God. And I said, this is the time we need to move to the hospital now. And we went to the hospital. And when we went to the hospital, I was there. I was scared. I was stressed out. I was so tired. I, Bridget, I couldn't think. And when missionary Bent called me, she said to me, Sister Natalia, get up and stand up in your authority. Pray out your child out of the situation and don't make Sarah dead. Get up and pray. Bridget, hear me, Lord. She never feel rough so but. Lord Jesus, I felt so bad, but I knew it was true. So I started praying. And I tell you something, you see, when God have you go through something, you always have somebody there. It doesn't have to be somebody that you know. Two persons was in agreement with me praying that morning with Sarah. It was in COVID time, Bridget, and COVID was going on. And the lady said to me, Miss Adong, they say, you go with the baby one man just dead down there. No good on there. Me say, well, I am harmed with Jesus, and I am going to do the test with her. When I went there, they said that they're going to do a chest x-ray. They swab her. Me say, well, if my baby can't go through this swab, may I go through it to come husband. Because we swab. We went through it too. And we got ourselves swab and everything. And brethren, when the x-ray machine came, I went over there and I lay my hand on it. And I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, every demon and assignment that is sitting on you, I command you to move. Me say, I curse you by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Me say, get up. Yeah. Me need Positive results. Virginia, see, when they did the chest x ray, I saw the little pediatrician come around. He said, It's all different way trying to read it. I said, That must be the x ray, and it must be something good. Even though my heart was leaping, I believe God for something good. He came to me and he said, Mommy, this baby is really sick. And this x ray came out. Everything is okay with the baby's stomach, but we're going to put her on a fast for no food. Virginia, you know, went down there. They said that Sarah would have died. The, nurse, the doctor come to me. She said, Mommy, this baby is so sick, you can get a call from the hospital anytime. Bridging, everything in me wake up now. Me no bother want to sleep. Me said, Doctor, I respect you and I am so thankful that you know what you're doing. But my God says, it is well. My bishop said, it is well. It is well. Me said, Mother Lauren said, it is well. It is well. Me said, Elder Lynn said, it is well. It is well. Me said, Elder Johnson say it is well, it is well. Mr. Bishop Mary say it is well, it is well. Mr. I am in agreement, it is well. Hallelujah. Brethren, they hooked her up on two drips. The doctor said, May I use one stone to kill two birds? <laughs> Like God Almighty, when I thought everything was going on, you know, when I went down there, everything started going away. She swelled so big. And I, I almost cried and I jogged back myself and said, Come on, girl, you got this. I got the on your side. And I started praying and I prayed that morning, bridging. I prayed so hard till I felt the spirit of God come down in the hospital. I pray when I open my eyes and look outside. The water, the players, full nurses, doctors, pa patient was there, people was there with their children, and they were just there standing, receiving the prayer. And brethren, today, yes. that was 2021, and now we are in 2023. Yes. Sarah Day. Five times, brethren. My God. And God bring her back. And when the devil says, 
she ain't got dead. She not dead, brethren. See her right Thank here. Thank you, so Jesus. Purpose, God. Pinna must live. Thank She's you. a prophecy. Her yes. name is a prophecy in her life. When Mother Peace of God said, name her Sarah, I didn't question it. Brethren, whatever it is you are going through, whatever it is the doctor whisper in your ears, brethren, some of them work with the devil. Buy any curses, send it back, and claim your healing. God bless you. God bless you. Glory to God. Come on, saints of God, put your hands together. Glory to God in the highest. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I know I said five. Glory to God, but she asked, so I'm going to allow her to go ahead and testify. Glory to God. Make it quick. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Mighty God. I am the old-fashioned Pentecost. Be honest with you. When I say the fake, I can't handle it. Hurt my head. Because I believe in the old time singing, shouting, praising God. When we come to church, we praise God because God is to be praised. Yes. And I want to say how great the art. Thank you, Jesus. When I listened to all the preaching Sunday, I was here. And I went up and hurry cook to come back Sunday night. I, I live in Mandeville. And hurry to come back Sunday night because this thing is too sweet. I don't know how people stay away from God and say it's boring. My God. It's because you make it boring. Right. Because you don't praise him. Mighty God. And when I came back Sunday and I listened to the preacher, I came back Monday and I listened to the preacher. And tonight, I said to my husband, I'm going to Waterloo. I don't have no ride. But I'm heading out. I know it's holiday. Hard to get taxi. But I'm heading out because of the preaching last night. Faith it. Faith. Faith it. Faith. And if you don't have faith, it don't make no sense. Just stay home for it. No help. Because without faith, it is impossible. Impossible. And I listen to the preacher. And when I listen to him, he gets right into my book. And I said, mighty God, if I did get the chance, I'd run up there and hug him. <laughs> but I didn't want to disturb. And when I listen, I'm going to tell you a testimony. And I want the church to listen. God, I no fear. God real. Hallelujah. Mighty God. God is real. Oh, yes. I hope all you ladies is here tonight. Where the preacher called to sit on the chair that need to conceive. I hope you are here tonight. Because I wanted that night to put the cherry on the, cap, the top of the ice cream. Because I'm a living witness. Yes. And I'm going to tell you. I got pregnant with my first child. I married Mino Young. We're married in 83, so kind of see if you can check it. But I won't tell you my age. I got pregnant with my first child. And I carried that child up to nine months healthy. My I God. could even climb tree. <laughs> and at the time of delivery, I went in. And the pain was so severe. All mothers can tell you that boy pain is severe. <laughs> Hot. It's not easy. But I went in and when the pain wrapped me, mm. I was just hoping that they would just look after me and bring me in the living room and just take that baby. Yeah. But it never happened that way. But let me tell you, no matter what you go through, yes. purpose cannot die. That's right, that's right, that's right. Purpose cannot die. Everybody write me off because I have the death glow over me. My God. When I'm to deliver that baby, let me be honest with you. It's hard to say if doctors are in here, don't feel any way when I talk. There is a thing that named compassion that a lot of us, even Christians, don't have it. Don't have it at all. Compassion. 
compassion with one another. And when I look and see how God, so many things we do to him, and he have that compassion to forgive us. And we sit in church. My God. And can't forgive your sister of maybe a little mistake. We need to repent. And I'm telling you, when that pain wrapped me, it was in those days, it was like two rooms in the party. One person over there, one over there. The pain was so severe, I could not even, those times was pressing buzzer. And they would come to you. But I could not press the buzzer. I asked the next person to press the buzzer for me. Yeah. And when she pressed the buzzer, the nurse walked in. And if you're in here, a nurse, learn to have compassion. And love your patients and do good to them. Because you're not going to no heaven. We have to have compassion. Love as the Bible say. And if we don't do the Bible, we're not going up there. Right. And I'm trying my best to do the will of God. And when the nurse came in, the nurse looked at me. Mm. She didn't test me to see if I'm one centimeter two. She just looked at me and said, you don't ready to have pitney yet. And she walked out the room. Mm. It was hard. My God. And you would not understand. Mm -mm. And when she walk out the room, I feel that that baby's coming. Somebody told me the symptom. And I know I made a push by myself. My if God. she was there. Well, as I said, purpose cannot die. And while I was there and I know that the baby head was born, I blocked out. I don't know what happened. My to God. But I fell off that delivery bed mm. on the floor with that baby head was born. So tell me that baby cannot live. And My maybe God. I would die too. But how great. How great. The heart Jesus. Hallelujah. When you see me come here and running up and down, just get out of my way because ah. I can't stop praising. Thank you, Jesus. And after, that's the time when doctors, nurses, I heard, yeah. keep running too late. My God. People of God, sit in Zion. Don't get up out of your seat. As you get up, somebody take it. Jesus. Don't leave your seat. My take God. When those doctors and nurses I heard keep running in, that time I heard I was out. I spent almost a week and plus in the hospital knowing nobody. My husband came. I did not know him. So you can imagine, those came and said, Lord, she's not going to make it. Evangelist Hilton is not going to make My it. My God. Because there was a death glow over her. But God. But God. But God. But God. Hallelujah. And after I get over by prayers and fasting with my brothers and sisters, I came out the hospital with my luggage without a baby. You know how hurt that is? It was not easy. I did not get over it for years. Jesus. And I couldn't because that was my first child. And let me say something to you. After that child was born, I don't know what they did to me, but they did something wrong. I could not get back pregnant. The doctor said to me, don't get pregnant early because of what you have been through. I said, okay. I give myself two years. My God. And I started to try again. No, nothing happened. Ear three, Jesus. nothing happened. Mm. Ear two, yeah. nothing happened. Four, sorry, nothing happened. Ear five, nothing happened. Ear six, I said, nothing happened. Mighty God. And I don't know, it's chipping my spirit. When we used to go to dance, we stay all night. Stay all night here, the goodness of God. <laughs> Hear this. Year six, I 
weeks, nothing happened. Mighty God, all the ladies that get the touch on their tummy, it is coming. Yes. Just have faith. Hallelujah. And when year six, I stand up. I'm a dressmaker. I used to do dressmaking home. I put aside the dressmaking. I said, God, it's you and me now. You create me. You know every vein that build my body. You know one hour work and you know what is working. So one hour work, fix it. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I went to the doctor. They told me my tube was black. And that was a lie. Don't feel no way, doctor. I mean, a tube. Go, doctor. May I tell you the truth? If I do go, I go to hear what you say. And then me hear me can tell you, say, I did have cancer. And God healed me. There is so many testimonies I can tell you. But tonight, he can't manage. Mm -mm. And let me tell you something. I went away now, and that's where I prove that my tube was not black. I went to a doctor overseas to prove because I love second opinion. That's me. Okay. And when I go to the doctor, they said to me, did they do this procedure to tell me that my tube is black? And I said, no, doc. He said, they cannot tell you that. And he did the procedure, and he said, your tube is not black. And let me say something to you. I came, he said to me, when you go back home, tell your husband to, to go and check his sperm count. Because you can be pregnant with the same partner, but something down the line can go wrong. And I said, okay, my husband don't love doctor. He's not going to know it. <laughs> anyway, I sat there and I said, God, you have to do it this time. And I left my sewing. I went into my bathroom. And I started to talk to daddy. Yes. And the word that I said to him, I said, God, I am not coming back to you without a child. My God. And I'm going to say something to all of us here. Be careful of the word that you speak to people or anybody. Because Bless there the is Lord. power in your word, and there Bless is it. death Praise in the your Lord. word. My sister, glory to God. I'm just going to ask you to quote it short. Right. Amen. Glory to God. All right. Amen. But I'm going to tell you the, 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 the deepness of it. After the doctor tell me, after I talked to God about it, I went to sleep about a week after, and I got a vision. And the vision was, I was at a head church in St. Anne. And the service was great like how it's great here. And when I look, the power of God was flowing in the place. Yes. And the power of God ceased. After the service was dismissed, I picked up my bag and I threw it on my shoulder. And the bishop took his finger and called me, I gazed back and I saw him. And he looked at me and he said to me, you look sick. And I started to tell him what has happened to me. But I got the vision. And I waited with that vision. Thank you, Jesus. And the vision was, he said to me, when you go home, he said, get the green pimento grain, and I saw both in my vision. The green pimento grain, not the dry one. Obedience by faith is good. And I went home, and I started to search for that pimento, but it was not pimento season. My God. And I'm going to tell you, I was sick with pain every day in my tummy. I didn't have any use to my husband. But I went and I waited because I believe God. Yes, thank you, Jesus. With the pain and all those bad things happening. And I waited. 
And brethren, I waited over a month and plus. Yes. And Pimento was not in Manchester. You know where I go? In Balaclava. And that was where I went and get the Pimento grain. And I came home with it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, put your hands together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I know it is a lot. Glory to God. And if we could get the whole night, we would go on and on and on and on and on. Glory to God. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Glory to God. I'm going to ask us all to stand. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. May we all stand at this time. Glory to God. Everybody that is able to stand, I'm going to ask us all to stand in the house. Praise the Lord Jesus. The theme says recover all. Praise. After two, repeating the theme. One, two. Recover all. Renew purposefulness. Possess the kingdom of God. I don't hear the church. One, two. Glory to God. I don't know if you came here to take anything by force tonight, but turn your cups up. Get ready to take back everything that the devil has stolen from us because tonight we are renewing and we are recovering all. I now get myself out of the way and I hand over glory to God to Pastor Fish and the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together and make him welcome. God bless you. Come on, give God a praise in the house. The battle is almost over. The victory is almost won. I have a feeling in my heart the best is yet to come. Turn to somebody. The best is yet to come. When I walk. No, no, no. Hold on. When I walk through heaven's gate for the first time I see Jesus. I can hardly wait church he'll show me to my mansion say child this is your home turn to your neighbor I have a feeling I have a feeling I have a feeling the best is yet to come you may be seated in the presence of the Lord amen amen I, I know we can have church all night but we want to hear a word amen somebody and we we just want to get the preacher in the way and i'm going to do this very expeditiously to our presiding bishop and his precious wife will you both stand and their children will you both stand let us put our hands together for the bishop and his family tonight come on give god praise for them God bless you. you. may be seated to our newly consecrated bishop, Bishop and Lady Myrie. We give God thanks for you. Come on, give God praise. Put your hands together and give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Amen to Overseer uh, Johnson and Overseer Brown. Come on, give God praise for them. To our fine speaker tonight, Apostle Baker, come on, give God praise for the man of God. Come on, give God praise. And the entourage that came with him, come on, give God praise. And the choir that came with him, give God praise. And the saints that came with him, give God praise. I want to see a standing man. Come on, give God praise. God bless you. You may be seated now. I am tasked with two things. I'm almost finished the first. Amen. I'm here to introduce the churches. I'm sorry. You won't be able to get to testify, but you can shout. Amen. So as I call the name of your church, just stand up and shout hallelujah. And show the house of prayer and praise. Williams Field Apostolic Church. Bunken Hill House of Prayer and Praise.
we want to hear them again King Jesus Pentecostal fellowship <laughs> Queen Street House of Prayer and Praise Petal House of Prayer Knoxwood Apostolic Church Abraham Apostolic Church Refuge Temple Apostolic Church Amen Re Grange Hill Apostolic Church God bless you Grange Hill Cascade Mount Zion Apostolic Church all right, nobody from Cascade. I, I, I'm always smiling. I've been here from Friday hearing this one. Patty Hill, House of Prayer and Praise. Yes, they are from the Patty Hill. Amen. Faith, Emmanuel Apostolic Church. God bless you. Magatis Shiloh Apostolic. Grace Baptist Maypen. All right. Visioneer Apostolic. God bless you. Montpelier Apostolic. God bless you. Elder Israel and Saints. Come on. Give God a praise. Waterloo Apostolic Church. Jump up and shout hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm on to my second task. Amen. Amen, church. And I don't want you to get quiet on me. We have so much Holy Ghost in here. And when it comes time to offering, most time the Holy Ghost seem to leave the building. Mm -hmm. Is that right? We have been enjoying convocation since Friday night. And we have been having a tremendous time in the Lord. Haven't we? Friday night we came, there was no preaching. The presence of the Lord was here. Seven souls got the Holy Ghost. Two was baptized in Jesus' name. Come on, give God praise for Pastor Mary Fuller. Come on, give God praise. We came back on Saturday night, seven people got the Holy Ghost and one was baptized in Jesus' name. We had soul baptized Sunday morning. We had souls baptized in Jesus' name last night. And I believe there's a miracle in the house for somebody. Stretch your hand to your neighbor and say there's a miracle in this house with your name on it. There's a white wagon that is blocking the driveway. White wagon. Hope you know your license plate. CR 1312. Access is needed immediately. You are blocking, you are blocking the entrance of somebody's resident. It's a white wagon. Amen. CR 1312. Now, convocation is a lot of expense. As a fellow pastor, when you have these great meetings and we come and we jump and we shout, there's always expenses that are left. So I want to collect 500,000 tonight. Why are you all looking at me like that? How are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? So I'm starting this offering with $10,000. I made sure I, I took out my offering and I want to be a blessing in this ministry. Amen. And I want uh, 24 more people to bless this ministry with $10,000. Who should they write the check to, sir? Huh? Okay, International Apostolic Ministry. You see, the bishop is boss, you know, him, him give 15,000. So, amen. That's the bishop for him and his wife. Who else is coming? 
Hmm? Oh, a wife says she have her own money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. Amen. Can you come? Amen. Where the card? Where the credit card machine? You're going to swipe? Amen. It's coming. All those who are going to swipe, can you stand? If you're going to swipe, make your way up to the front. Amen. Make your way up to the front. Make your way up to the front. Brethren, when you come to this ministry and you see the work that this, uh, the presiding bishop and the church has done, you see where your money is going. Uh, is that right? And when you give, you cannot outgive God. And don't tell me I'm taking up the time to collect the money. Amen. I always trouble my friends, you know. Her husband came all the way from Chicago, come get the Holy Ghost. So, my God Almighty, you can't pay your feet, you know, a pastor baker, but my God, $10,000. Come on, give God a praise up in here. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. I've gone four and a half already. Help me make it up to even ten. Come on. Who else coming? Brother, when you walk in them shiny things, you know you have, you have a lot of money. <laughs> you know, come on, church. Come on. I need some people to bless the ministry. All the young ministers and aspiring preachers. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Put your hands together for the apostle. Amen. $10,000. Come on. Give God a praise. We need some more tens. We need some more tens. We need some more tens. Look at this pretty little girl coming. My God. Is the bishop, you know, the, hold on. Mr. Musician, follow me. The bishop giving one money, the wife giving the one money, and the daughter giving the one money. You cannot be that. And it's $10,000 too. Come on, give God a praise. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Come, come. Who else is coming to bless the ministry? See one, see one, see a precious sister here coming. God bless you. Somebody say, God bless her, I know. $10,000. Come on, man, give God praise. Don't worry, the apostle come charged to preach, and the sister said, We can stay all night. Amen. So don't worry about it. He's going to preach the full message, and there's going to be a miracle in the house. Amen. 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 Who else is coming? Come, come, come. I need three more 10,000. Come. Come, somebody. Any of the overseers going to help me? I'm sorry. Any of the overseers going to help me? Bishop, you're going to help me too? Amen. My God, man, you helped me well. See if you can help me. I'm coming back. <laughs> Amen. All right, I got to go. Any more 10,000? All right. I'm looking in the choir section. And the choir looks full. Amen. I think you have about, and all those who are seating to the back too. You think you have about 40 people over there? 10,000. God bless you, brother. Amen. Can I deputize somebody from the choir? See if you can raise 20,000 from the choir for me. With everybody that's sitting from the front to the back. See if you can raise 20,000 for me. Uh, that's very cheap, but see if you can raise it in the meantime. All right, all those who can give five thousand, come, come, come quick. Run, come, run, come, run. Thank you, sister. Amen. She has been shouting from Friday. Amen. So she blessing God with a five thousand. Amen. Anybody else? Come, 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 come. Anybody else can bless the church with five thousand. 5,000? Does that sound too much? All right. I want to move it along because I want to get the preacher in the way. My sister, I see you walking. You're walking towards me. 
Amen. She walk in with her card. God bless. Remember, we have credit and debit card machine over there. See another card coming. See another card coming. See another card coming. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Amen. God bless you. 5,000 in the name of the Lord. Sister, you coming over there too? Walk fast, man. Walk fast. Walk. Walk a little faster. Yes, yes. God be praised. God be praised. God be praised. Amen. 5,000 in the name of the Lord. All right. I want to move quickly. I want all those who can do 2,000. Come. Come, come, come quickly. Amen. Come quickly. Come quickly. And brethren, don't go anywhere and tell them, Brother Fisher, hold up the time, collecting offering. The bills have to pay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people eat jerk chicken since week. Chicken and big chicken and fried chicken and rice and peas and all kind of thing. It had to be paid for. Amen. God bless your sister. Amen. All the 2000s come. All the 2000s come. Amen. Five. My God, give her a clap. Five still coming. Amen. Look at this pretty little girl. God bless you. Amen. 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 Two. I don't see anybody move from the musician section here. Amen. You see all them pretty socks you all wearing. Bring some of my money. Come over here and bless the church. Come on. Amen. Another 5,000. Come on. Give God praise. Amen. They're still coming. You're still coming. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. They're still coming. Shout a praise. Shout a praise. This money is from Bunkers Hill. My, this money is coming from way up in Trelawney. 5,000 coming from far. Amen. All those with a thousand, let's go. With a thousand, with a thousand. You can bless the ministry with a thousand. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Come from where you are. Come quickly. Come quickly. I want the choir to get ready. They're going to be singing momentarily in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come quickly. Come quickly. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. They're coming. Come on. Give God a praise as they come. Give God a praise as they come. The church needs money. The church operates with money. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I need some help up here, Bishop. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My God, preacher man. Look at him clapping his hands. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, mommy. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, man. Bless you. I say, man, walk up here, apostle. He said, look, man, me all like your brother is $21,000. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Amen, 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 amen. Even when you're collecting the offering, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen, somebody. Come on, give God a praise. Brethren, I am a strong believer in helping other ministries. When you help others, somebody will in turn bless your ministry. My God Almighty, this is a whole heap. I can't even count it. My one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I stop at seven. God Almighty, give God praise. Anybody else coming? All the fives come. All the fives. All the fives. All the fives. Come quickly. Come quickly. All the fives. Choir, are you ready to sing? Amen, amen. God bless you. Little is much. When God, can we do that? Little is much. When God is in it, labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown and you can win it when you go in jesus name say little is much 
when God is in it labor not whatever you have come for wealth or fame there's a crown and you can win it when you go in Jesus name whatever you have bring it little is much when God is in it labor not for wealth or fame there's a crown and you can win it when you go in Jesus name church little is much when God is in it labor not for wealth or fame there's a crown and you can win it when you go in Jesus name little is much when God is in it labor not for wealth or fame there's a crown and you can win it when you go one last time in Jesus name oh little is much when God is in it labor not for wealth or fame there's a crown and you can win it when you go in Jesus I want everybody to rise to your feet rise to your feet come Bishop Amen. Lord have mercy. Somebody's giving 500 US dollars to this offering. Somebody give God a praise. Of. That's about 75,000 Jamaican dollars. Somebody give God a praise. Now, I want you to put everything together. Just drop it in. Just drop it in anywhere. Just drop it in. Amen. Uh, uh, just drop it in quickly. Drop it in quickly. Drop it in quickly. Amen. Put them together. Put them together. Put it anywhere. We got to go. Put them anywhere. Amen. Drop. Put. Yes. Put them together. Amen. Amen. Put them. Give it to the bishop. The Bible says when the priests wave the offering the people receive a blessing i want everybody to lift your hands as the priests of this house wave the offering to god believe god for your blessing this is bible when the priests wave the offering the people receive a blessing receive your blessing receive your breakthrough receive your overflow receive a financial miracle receive your deliverance when the priests wave the offering father we thank you for the gift that was given we pray for every hand that was stretched. We pray for even the hands that didn't have to give, but in their hearts they were willing to give. No, Father, give it back to them, pressed down, shaken together and running over. We release a blessing in Jesus' name. Thank you for your giving. At this time, make welcome the King Jesus Pentecostal Church Fellowship Choir. Put your hands together for them as they minister in Jesus. Come on, church. Give God a praise as they minister. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise.
Do we have a mic for them? Come on, open your mouth and give me a praise tonight. Come on, open your mouth and give me a praise tonight. Let the redeemer of the Lord a shout hallelujah. Every praise, every word of worship, every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, sing hallelujah to our God. Come on, glory hallelujah is to our God. Come on. Every praise, come on, every praise to our God, come on, every praise to our God, every word of worship, come on, sing every praise, every praise is to our God, come on, sing hallelujah. Sing every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, one more time. Every praise, come on, every word of worship. Come on, every praise, come on, every praise is to our God. Come on. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah. Come on, every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship. Yes, 
Yes, he is. 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 Yes, I'm 
Put your hands together. Somebody give God a praise for the choir tonight. Somebody give God a shout for the choir tonight. Give God praise. Amen, amen. We got to get the word in the way. Shall we rise to our feet, everybody? Shall we rise to our feet? This is the moment where heaven gets ready to speak to earth. It was some years ago while I was in the Cayman Islands, quite a number of years ago, I met this fine preacher. I met him at All Nations in the Cayman Islands long before he became apostle. One of the things that I love about him is his humility. Brethren, you can be gifted and you're not humble. You can be gifted and you're not approachable. You can be gifted and not reach. That has always remained in my memory. And I would watch him as the Lord bless him. And I'm sure if you ask him, he will tell you it's not an easy road. But the writer says with Christ in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. There is no question that the gift of God is on him. There is no question that the anointing is on him. And tonight we are privileged to have one of God's finest mouthpiece in the person of Apostle George Baker. Put your hands together and make some noise and welcome the servant of the Lord. Somebody show the praise as he comes. Somebody keep those hands clapping. Come on, you can do better than that. Show your head back and release a stronger praise. Come on, shout a stronger praise tonight. Come on, warriors, open your mouth and magnify the King of Kings. Come on and lift the name of Jesus Christ with a high praise. Somebody throw your head back and release a praise in here. Release a praise in here. Come on, warriors, open your mouth and magnify. Come on, magnify the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same. Our God is to be worshipped. There is no God like Jehovah God. Jesus. He's Yahweh. Somebody clap your hands and reach to the person next to you and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You are at the right place at the right time for your miracle. Come on, smile a little bit and say hello Jesus, neighbor. Jesus, my good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You are at the right place, at the right time. Jesus, 
for your breakthrough. Clap your hands and celebrate the King of Kings. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, warriors, you can do better than that. When the praises goes up, the glory of God will come down and your miracle is in the glory. Your deliverance, your breakthrough, your healing is in the glory. Come on, somebody, throw your head back, man. Open your spirit. Give God a good praise tonight. Give the Lord a better praise tonight. He's worthy to be praised. He is Lord. He is God. He holds our keys. Somebody give him a wave offering. Give the Lord a wave offering. Turn your Bibles with me to Joshua chapter 4 and verse 19. And Joshua chapter 1. Let me take this privilege first. To give glory, honor, and praise to the Spirit of God. Who dragged me out of nature's darkness and place me in his marvelous light if it had not been for the spirit of god in my life the enemy would laugh us to scorn come on warriors i greet the holy angels that are in and around this building tonight hallelujah send forth to minister to them that are years of salvation. How many know that the apostolic ministry is an angelic ministry? And angels encamp. And they are here tonight to do warfare. They are here tonight to go before you and pull down strongholds. Come on, warriors. Hallelujah to God. I greet. Prelaid. Bishop Agriscat and his wife. I love you, sir. My God, work. Where is the warriors that know that God has set them up? And who God bless, all hands are off. My daddy and Bishop, one that I love because when the enemy is fighting there's a word of encouragement bishop mary and my mother in the spirit evangelist mary praise god prayer warrior my god somebody give the lord a wave for friend pastor o'neill fisher my god warrior in the kingdom i was talking about him last night hallelujah to god or the night before and the same thing i said is the same thing he said tonight a humble man of god come on somebody give the lord jesus christ a praise hallelujah and we were thinking and, and said so we're gonna approach him and ask him to be in our youth week this year come on king jesus hallelujah to god a fireball one that is you now one that the hand of god is on all wonderful men of god minister brown and elder barrett and overseer mullins and elder williams praise god and all god wonderful people saints of the most high god visiting friends I greet you in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am not a sermonic preacher, please. I'm just a messenger. So I just come to drop off a message. Can I do that? If you don't like it, I'm still going to drop it off because I'm just the letter man. Somebody wave your hands and give God a praise in here. A hallelujah to God. 
And so if you are here tonight expecting the eyes to dart and the teeth to cross, you're going to be disappointed. Uh-huh. I come to drop off a telegram. Where is the worshipers? It's kind of tight. Somebody say something in this house. God is a good God. Joshua chapter 4 and verse 19. When you're there, just say hallelujah. And the people came up out of Jordan on the 10th day of the first month. Somebody said the 10th day of the first month. And then camped in Gilgal in the east border of Jericho. 10th day of Nisan. Let's go back to chapter 1. Take a few verse. Verse 1. Are you there? To 3. Amen? Amen. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, son of Nun, Moses, my minister, Moses, minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all the people, unto the land which I do give to them, even the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of thy foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses, Holy Spirit, please put down your Bibles. Take that sanctified hand of yours and slip it in the hand of the person beside you. United we stand. Divided we fall. Wherever the spirit of unity is, there is the releasing of power. Squeeze that hand and let them feel you. Eternal God, our Father, creator of this universe. God that declared, let there be light, and there was light. Here we are present in your house. This house you have sanctified. You place your heart in this place. Your eyes are in this house, and your ears are open perpetually. You said when we come to this house, if we pray and seek your face, you will give us a shift in the land. Somebody need deliverance. Somebody need healing. Somebody need to be saved. Please, Holy Spirit, arise and let all our enemies be scattered. We declare victory tonight. Victory is in your efficacious blood. Oh, give us the victory, Lord. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and put a praise on that right now. Come on, one more time, release a stronger praise. Come on, release a stronger praise in here. Before you take your seat, I want you to look at four people, look them in the eyes, and say, neighbor my good neighbor don't let my season fool you it is about to change oh jesus come on tell your neighbor don't let my season fool you a shift is taking place uh, it's the season of crossing over somebody clap your hands and celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ come on somebody slap your seat and declare season change cross over God is a good God God is a good God God is a good God Hallelujah, church of the living God. You got to understand that these are the last and closing days of the church age. And God is not slack 
concerning his promise. Victory belongs to Jesus. He is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judea. You got to understand as people of God that God run things. He's in charge. It doesn't matter how things look around you. God holds the keys. God is master. He's Adonai. He is the owner of everything. Psalm 24, he declare that the earth belongs to him. Everything inside of the earth is his. And he do what he wants to do. He said in Daniel that he set up kings and he pulled down kingdoms. He said he changed times and season and nobody can do nothing about it. The government is on his shoulder. Uh, he run things and nobody can stop it. Uh, he was preaching one day and he declared birds uh, of the year have nests and facts have holes but the son of man have no place to lay his head. In other words you got to understand when he said facts have holes mm -hmm, facts are speaking of the government. It speaks of the authorities speak of those who are in charge. Remember when they told him that Herod was planning and talking about him? He said, go tell that fox. Uh -huh. So fox are the world governments. And when he said they have a whole, uh, it means they have companions. It's a group that counsel and makes decisions. And then he said birds have never understand that birds dear mean and clean spirits and the Bible said they group together they come together and they plan they go away they plan and come back and they see greater and more dangerous spirits and come together so they plan but the son of man while he's here on earth there's nobody to counsel him him. There's nobody on his level. There's nobody that he can share his secrets with. When he's about to preach, he got to bring down himself. Every message he preach, he preach it in a parable. When he's among the fishermen, he said, the kingdom of God is like a net. He's trying his best, baby, so that they can understand his message. When he's about, among, among those who are, are in the field, those laborers in the field. Yes, 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 yes. He speak a parable and said the kingdom of God is like seed that is sowed in the field. He speak about it as sower. How oh, the sower sow seed so that it can have a little knowledge. Uh -huh. When he's among the business people, he said the, the kingdom of God is like a pearl hid in a field. In other words, his level is so high that nobody can understand. He got to bring it down and try his best. Birds have nests. Oh, Jesus. Facts have hold. But the government is on his shoulder. He run things. He asks nobody nothing. There is no counsel with him. He's God and he runs things. Oh, where is the believers in here? Uh, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, my life is in his hand. And when he's ready, nobody can stop him. When he's about to raise you up, he asks nobody nothing. He, yeah, nobody got to give him approval. When God get ready to move in your life, there is no devil in hell that can stop black ah, Delay God. Reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, that's my daddy. He's talking about. I want you to understand tonight that there is a people. There is a generation. The, oh, Shia. 
my god what's that daddy all right i hear you you do you have a rug for me preacher man where it is man run come over here somebody wave your hands and say that's my daddy oh oh jesus it's kind of flat too tight man somebody wave your hands a little bit and say when my time come no devil can block my season Mm. Run, come for this. That's why I stopped the service. Yes, run, come, please. You have a son somewhere in St. James. Okay, that's it. Bring this rug to him and tell him to wipe his face. There's a turning around coming. Yes. Shia. There's a turn around coming in his life. God shall raise him up as a pastor. There's a shift taking place in the atmosphere right now. Somebody clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Wave your hands. Let's go back in the service, please sit down and let us talk for five minutes because when God gets ready to change a season there is, he don't ask he don't have to ask nobody anything he run times and change season it's just like that where is the believers in here in Ecclesiastic chapter 3 and verse 1 to 3 the Bible says to everything there is a season oh touch your neighbor and say to everything there is a season oh God and a time for every purpose under heaven oh so nothing lasts forever when I read this text it encourage my soul to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose so nothing you see taking place in earth lasts forever it have its season and if you are here tonight and you are unemployed it's just a season and marry you are single just a season no gifts manifesting in your life just a season when God get ready he turn things around and nobody can do nothing about it you see they came out of Egypt and they were in the wilderness Moses was strong and healthy uh, Moses was 120 but he his youth was still there he didn't have a high blood pressure there was no diabetes in Moses Moses was strong you know he walked one mile on the Mount Nebo he was healthy but God was about to shift things God was about to raise up a new breed God was about to bring in a new generation and so Moses went up on Mount Nebo and God said Moses you ain't coming down your time is up I'm raising up a generation that's gonna bring a shift they are gonna possess the land and this breed is unstoppable Moses had a rod in his hand but this leader don't walk with a rod baby this leader carry a sword there is a difference with the rod and the sword you see those who carry the rod are those who are walking with testimonies those who live by past testimony he said Moses walk with your rod so that every time you see the rod you can remember the last thing I did in your life but he said Joshua I don't do don't need you to walk with no rod that's for Moses you're going over now and you're gonna take what belongs to you what I promise your granddaddy uh-huh your forefather get the promise and I'm gonna make sure that you possess that you occupy that you drive out 
everything that wants to block you. There is a generation that God is raising up. There is a people that God is raising up. They don't walk with a rod. They're walking with the word. And anything come before them, they're going to pull down. Bring God, man, where is the warriors? Throw your head back. Put your praise on that. Oh, my mouth is kind of tight. It's a little bit flat. I feel somebody still is stiff. But I have news for you. God is not depending on you. You are too religious for what God is about to do. Joshua, you're not sending 12 over there. You don't need a lot. I'm just going to send two. Because one chase a thousand. But if I can find somebody that agree with me. No devil in hell can stop me from possessing. Where is the believers? Kind of a little bit flat man. Still too low. Hallelujah to God. And God now said Moses is dead. And once Moses is dead, that simply means God is doing a new thing. You see, God makes sure he hid Moses' body because, you see, this breed, there is a, there a breed that love go back in the past because the rod signify the past miracle. And God said, no, you can't go back there. Mm -hmm. So let me hide Moses' body because if I don't do that, these people will stay in the past and I'm raising up a people who is walking in the future who is a possessor of the the promised land who am I preaching to slap your neighbor say neighbor God changed season and anytime God changed the season everything new anytime God changed the season everything is shift you got to know what God is doing you got to be like the sons of Issachar the sons of Issachar they study time if you don't don't study time. You will call what God is doing the work of the devil and call the work of the devil God. You got to study time because he's a movable God. He's a mobile God. God is not a stagnant God and he's calling a people who is ready for what God is about to do. He said take the people over the Jordan. Can I preach to somebody over the Jordan and when Jordan will back. It simply means it's a fresh move. It's a warrior move. It's just what generation and just what generation is a generation that walk with the sword in their hand. Moses, Moses is dead. Now Joshua, tomorrow you're going to bring the people to the other side. Joshua now is praying and while he was praying, here comes the captain of the army of the Lord of hosts. Can I preach to the church? And when Joshua see the captain, I believe that was Michael. When Joshua saw him, Joshua is a warrior. He draw for the sword and begin to ask him a question. We side are you on? Let's separate this building right now. Ask your neighbor which side. Are you on? You got to declare it because the angel is not on your side, nor your side. The angel of God, they're on the Lord's side, and anything the Lord tell them, that's what they're gonna do. So line up. 
and get ready. Who am I talking to? Drop somebody and tell them God is not waiting on you. So line up. Tomorrow this time, you're going over. Tomorrow this time, you're going to experience a move of God in your life. For as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? You better get radical. Which side are you on? There's a move in Pentecost. There is a move. And he said, circumcise Israel a second time. Where is the warriors? Throw your head back. Open your mouth. Reach your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, if you're going to possess the land, circumcise a second time. In other words, yes, to hear testimony won't work for today. God wants to do a fresh thing in your life. He wants to do what you have never seen before. He's about to shift to a new dimension. You got to be open to what the Lord is about to do in Pentecost. Come on. Turn your neighbor, say, neighbor, it's time to pursue overtake recover all who am I talking to it's time for renewal it's time to pass over mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come here to talk to somebody anytime the season shift there is something new every time God shift a season God is about to do something fresh Mm. What season we in again? Tell somebody the pass over season. Tell your neighbor the pass over season. And in Joshua chapter 4 and verse 19, it was the 10th day. Somebody said the 10th day of the first month Bible scholars you will know this when the Bible said the first month it doesn't mean it's the first month calendar year not the first month of the calendar year but it will be the first month unto you in other words I'm beginning a new year for you you're coming with me it's the 10th day of Nissan which is April in our calendar. You are coming with me? You're coming with me? You're coming with me? Reach your neighbor and say, neighbor. In other words, the text we have read is the 10th day of April. Hmm? Hmm? Today, how much again? Today is the what? Today is the what? Afni, son. That means today I pass over there. Yeah. That means today I didn't deal with you. But you are back, you know. Give way, you know. I come here with a word from God. Where is the believers in here? It's kind of still a little bit tight. But the Bible says that this is the day when Israel walk over the Jordan is the day that Israel step into the promised land and those who are not supposed to come they are dead in the wilderness I stop by to tell somebody today is a prophetical day today is a day in your life a day that dawn a new season I come here to speak to Pentecost to tell the Pentecostals the apostolics it's the season of recovery recovering everything from all the heights 
once you go over it's time to drive them out once you go over you've got to speak to the ice once you go over is the blessing is the promise that God has promised to your forefathers where are the believers in here Bishop Ivan Evans they set the stage oh Shia they let Jamaica know that the apostolic faith is the Holy Ghost faith is the church faith and Jesus said upon this rock warriors wherever you will I build my seat my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail can I take five more minutes it's the season to be renewed and after God do that in your spirit it's time to pass over Jordan come on and when you go over Jordan before you possess anything circumcise again and after you circumcise it's time to drive them out of the land who am I talking to uh -huh. it's the season to possess the kingdom of God it's the season when the apostolic children must be seated in the house of parliament it's the season when the apostolic faith must have the biggest institution in the island it's the season when a shift take place and those who were borrowed become the lenders and those who were beneath who am I preaching to it's kind of tight it's time to possess those who have no gift at all begin to manifest the glory of the risen Christ those who are bound become deliverers those who are under pressure begin to be the ones who have the enemy under on who am I preaching to God says I'm going to do it all you need to do is get ready and watch God shift some stuff in your life get ready believers God is about to move again come on it's time for the shift it's a new season consecrate yourself for this don't worry about the heights you know don't you be afraid of no witch no warlock because God is about to give a shift in the earth realm again come on don't worry about the enemies they know you and they hear what the Lord is doing in Pentecost so don't worry about them come on you shall drive out every generational curse out of your genes you shall drive out every demonic powers that rise up against you and your generation is there anybody in here ready to drive out the Canaanites the Hittites the Hivites the Perizzites the Gorgasites the Amorites and the Zed tell your neighbor it's time to drive them out it's time to drive them out some of you demons are sitting on your head demons are around your waist and demons are on your back 
it should never be so in Pentecost too much fire is in Pentecost for you to walk into a church like this with demons on your back with demons around your waist. They don't belong up there. For when you are born of the water and of the spirit, you should be seated together with Christ Jesus. Far above principalities, above powers, no demon should be over you. They should be under your feet. Apostolic people, demons can block your prayer. You are not like Daniel. Daniel was operating from down in Babylon. But the church is not operating from Babylon. We are seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So no demon can block your prayer. Just get into the Holy Ghost and begin to pray for they that speak it in an unknown tongue. They speak it mystery. No demon can understand what you're saying. For in the spirit and the battle is first won. In the spirit, then it manifests. Drag your neighbor, say neighbor. It's Holy Ghost time again. Kind of flood, drag. And shield that hand. A Holy Ghost time again. A power time again. A fire time again. Somebody say power time. Power time. Power time. It's time to show hell that Jesus hold the keys. And when he open a door, can no man shut? Where is the warriors in here? Throw your head back. Let's go to your bedroom. Yet do I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death. I shall fear. Shia. Ya Messiah. Yeah, pa, 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 sha. Take two minutes. I said, take two minutes. Show your head back. Let's take it up a little higher. You're not going home the same way you came. We are declaring a war. Tell somebody tonight, it's a war night. Me come here to take it. I'm mean, not going to left it. My help is here. My angel is here. The war and angels are here. And I declare war. War. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. I'm here to release a word from God in this atmosphere. I am releasing the instructions of the Holy Ghost. Get ready for the cross over. God said, get ready. The barriers, the witches, the warlocks, the obia workers in your community that is acting as if they're bad. There is a shift taking place. Some people are gonna die, you know. God, I got to kill some of the other workers and the haters and the murmurers and the complainers and the covetous. God, I got to move some of them because it's the land of rest. It's the season of rest. It's the season where God, I move the enemies out the way and let you walk. Where is the warriors in here? Priests, where are you? Where are the royal priests? Get ready. Where are the prophets? Get ready. Apostles get ready, evangelists get ready, pastors get ready, teachers get ready, choir stars get ready, ushers get ready, deacons get ready. We come here for take it. Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz, 
what I lose Saint Elizabeth God give it to you Bishop God said he give you Saint Elizabeth from the bread to the end of this parish all those who are under bondage demonic oppression false sickness generational curse they are all over Saint Elizabeth crying out for help Shaya Yamasaya Yamamasa Yapapapasaya Shanda Masaya Yamasaya When we gather like this It's the gathering of great When we gather like this It's the gathering of warriors When we begin to praise God he called over high ranking angels and start to dispatch them. Send them to your homes, to your community, to do our fear. Tonight we're gonna pull down some stuff. Tonight we're gonna destroy some yoke. Tonight some persons are gonna be healed. Delivered and set free. I just hear something. I just hear something. We're gonna stop that. We're not leaving church. And hear that your mother died. Come here. Oh yes, yes, you come. Stand up here. Something happened right now. I just get that telegram. Something is happening right now. Where is her mother? You see that? I just see two men a walk around your mother's house. So if you want to call police, when I lay my hand, go call police, make him arrest them. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Shia Basaya. They are looking for your mother to kill your mother. Because they shoot somebody and they say your mother see. Huh? So what I speak, they are walking around the house now. No. Look at me. It's kind of hard, but take it. Now. I'm giving you two words. One, when you go outside, we need a police to call to go at the house now. Two, make sure you tell your mother, say, the preacher preach and just pick up two men and walk around your mother's house. Tell your mother, say Bishop Baker, say don't go back to the house until she get instruction. Because somebody has got dead. You cover her now. Hallelujah. Everybody shut your hands to water. Look at me. Look at me. Everybody shut your hands towards me. Everything I say, you connect to it. Yes, sir. Thank huh? you, my brother. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards her. They killed our brother two weeks ago before our mother. Stretch your hands, warriors. Stretch your hands, warriors. Stretch your hands, warriors. This is the apostolic church. Stretch your hands, warriors. After three, just say Jesus and watch the shift take place. I prophesy, I'm using you as a point of contact. When I lay my hand on you, there's an angel that is assigned to your mother that will black gunshot. 
Mm, warriors, where are you, warriors? Where are you, warriors? After three, all you need to say, Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, somebody say something. Up me a mouth and shabba. Up me a mouth and yada. Up me a mouth, yes, sir. Somebody declare war. Somebody say, You shall not die. You shall not die. But you shall live. You shall live. Somebody take two minutes. Take two minutes. I said, Take two minutes. It's kind of a little bit flat. Take two minutes. Reverse every gun shot. I feel like something is shifting in the atmosphere. Everybody in here, I just got this piece again. I hear three persons, three different voices. Said, me cover myself and my family now. Three persons just speak because the threat is on them and their family. I'm covering the chair now. Hallelujah. No gunshot now and get out of you now your family. Just because you are present in a Holy Ghost service. Where is the believers? You are at the right place. I feel like call them out in a bishop. I feel like those three persons to come now. Just run, come right up here. Cheer you, run, come up here. I'm covering you from every gunshot. Your family member from every gunshot. Come quick, we can't wait. Warriors, where are you? Worshippers, where are you? Worshippers, where are you? Come stand up beside her. Come on, warriors. It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit. I said, stand up beside her, man. Stand up beside her. We have to run. We can't wait. Stand up beside her. Shia. Nobody can do nothing, man. Come now. Yes, God. Shia Basa. Come on, warriors, man. It's flat. Come on, worshippers. It's flat. Come on, warriors. It's flat. Come on, warriors. It's flat. Run the man who waited on one door. Run the Shut up. Hands up. Stand up. Come on, come on, come on. Shut up, sir. Now, 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 the apostolic church, angels are a sign to you. And when you understand how to stand up in your sonship God activate your angels Shia Basa I am a Shia Shia I just feel somebody over that side I want you to come now come run come bleeding and you just feel like you was about to faint run come I want to lay my hand on you just come right here where is the warriors in here? It's kind of tight. I said, run, come and stand up right here. We are going in, warriors are going in. Warriors are going in, warriors are going in. Warriors are going in, warriors are going in. Worshippers are going in. Hands high, hands high, hands high. Hands high, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in. We're going in, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in, we're going in. We're going in, warriors are going in. Take two minutes, we're going in. Hands in the air. I want to put my hand on you. Come on, hands in the air. Feel a shift taking place. I feel a shift taking place. This spell is about to be destroyed. Yes. Come on, warriors. This is the apostolic yes. church. Where is the believers? Somebody say something. Somebody say something. It's not by my put her at the front. Make sure you come at the front. Hands high, warriors. Hands high. Yes. This is the season of crossover. It is a season when shifting place in your life. 
It's the season that the wealth of the wicked. This is the promise. He said, Houses you didn't build and vineyards you didn't plant. When I do this shift, oh Jesus, watch what God do in your life. Where is the believers in here? Shayabasa. My God, he said to Daniel, I change times and season. I remove kings and I raise up kings. And God says, this time has come. Shia Basa, when the shift must take place. Come on, when God shift a season, weeping may endure, but for a night, warriors, where are you? Worshippers, where are you? Joshua generation, are you here? You're ready to walk out by faith. You're ready. Shia Messiah. You see, this is how it goes sometime, you know. Sometimes when you get the mic and you want to preach, you can't preach because there's something in the atmosphere and God should just move in the third dimension. Just go over there and operate from behind the veil. So if you are religious, you might be offended because you come to hear articulation. You come to hear a service, a sermon. But sorry, baby, I am a work. I come to do a work. I come to pull off the yokes. I come to drive back the attack of the enemy. I'm not here for how I can sound. I'm here for a move of God. I'm here to declare war. Where are the warriors in here? There is a ship in the atmosphere. Seasonal shift. Tell somebody your season. Shift. One season, Mordecai was sitting outside of the king's palace. The next season, Mordecai was in the palace, seated as an advisor because God shift the season. Oh, we're all to believe us in here. There's a shift coming, and it's tonight. But if you're in the flesh, you cannot receive this shift. But if you ever just cross over tonight, you shall see the move of God in your life. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? For how long every certain time you have to be at the doctor spending a certain amount of money but that was your sick season it was your pressured season it was your dark season but after the dark there shall be the breaking of day is there anybody in here believe that a season of favor is released in my life and favor is not fear favor is god invading man's life and impacting man's life shifting him from one dimension to another taking him from zero to hero and no devil can do nothing about it one season David was a shepherd boy but the next season he was a king one season David was behind the bush with sheep the next season he seated on the throne can I preach to somebody one season Ruth was cleaning from the field but the next season she's the owner of the field one season and I was a barren but the next season and I scaring the greatest prophet carrying 
priest of the time carrying the anoint of kings oh put your hand on your belly and say destiny is inside of me and I'm about to give birth the devil wants to kill my purpose but destiny say no because destiny is greater than pain can I take five minutes one season she mock her one season benign a laugh but the next season Hannah is giving birth who am I talking to you better throw your head back open your mouth shout another praise one season Abraham flesh was dead but the next season Abraham is a father of many nations reach your neighbor say neighbor all you need is a shift is a change of your season from barrenness to faithfulness come on one season Elizabeth was a barren but the next season she's giving birth to John the Baptist a world shifter filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb who am I talking to one season Liam back Rachel Leah laugh at Rachel but the next season Rachel give birth to Joseph which mean God shall add to my life who am I talking to come on warriors God is about to shift things God is about to give you a new season God is about to turn things around is there anybody in here you are in your night season you are in your night season you are in your wilderness season you are in your pain season you are in your barren season there is a prophetic word over your life Lazarus is sick and is about to die but Jesus said this sickness is not unto death when we look the man that Jesus said would not die is now dead and in coffin in a tomb wrapped up with grave clothes the laughers the mockers the jeerers pointing finger did Jesus said this sickness is not unto death where is the warriors where is the worshippers I wonder if there's anybody in here that's a word from God and it seems like what God say will never come to pass what God say is dead nothing is happening God sure you are man and said that your husband and when you look somebody else marry the man and it seems like what God say over your life is dead but I stop by to tell you from God said it there is no debt that can black God word who am I talking to the man was dead the man was buried the man was barred off the tomb was sealed but when Jesus show up when he show up in your life all he needs to do is give you another word and anything come last is not the first laugh that is the laugh but somebody throw your head back and say is the laugh last the last laugh is the real laugh they are laughing they are mocking they are jeering but watch God when he show up in your life from God show up with a word everything around you got to conform to the word of God Lazarus Lazarus Lazar what's your name again what's your name mine is Baker 
when God is changing the season, all God got to do is open his mouth and call you by name. Everything around you got to be in place. Lazarus! I said, call your own name. Lazarus! Lazarus! Come! Come! Forth! Lose him! Shaya Basa! Ya Masaya! Ya! Shana! Turning around! There's a turning around! God is doing it for you! Yes, I said the Lord is doing it for you! He's your healer! He was wounded for your transgressions! He was bruised! My God! Where is the warriors? I'm turning around! I'm mighty! Turning around! I'm mighty, mighty! Turning around! Somebody prophesy over your own life! That's it! Up me a mouth! Up me a mouth! Shout another praise! Shout another praise! Shout another praise! Two hands high. Shia. Elder Mullins, run, come here. Take my rock. You see that lady down there in the green? Green hat. With that plaid, pink flowers under her. Black jacket. I don't know her, it's the first time I see her. But tell her that God said to tell her, a mighty turning around is taking place right now. Keep the praises, warriors. Keep the praises, warriors. Keep the praises, warriors. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by my spirit. So Shia. Every breath that I am Lord, I will sing of the good day. Why you say something? No. I told you I came to drop off a letter. I told you I come to release a message. God says to tell you, he's raising up an army. It's a Joshua generation. Hold on. Don't worry about the naysayers. Forget about them. Forget about the fighters. Forget about the Tobiah. Sambalat. Forget about those who are not here to put this together. Forget about them. God is about to turn Saint Elizabeth. And God is about to use you. You ready? Get ready now, warriors. Shh. My God, you hear that? I want to touch your hands, all of you. Joshua generation, give me a two hand like this. Come here, Bishop. Bishop, come. Shy Abasa. Now, God is going to use you to do the impossible. God is about to use you to bring the shift. God is about to use you to cast out devils. You ready? You ready? God said, 
by the time you wake in the morning, there's a mighty turning around. Shia. You have been faithful. Oh, yes, girl. All my life you have been so, so good. Yes. Yes. If he prayed, did I have That's it. Lord, I will say. That's it. Of the goodness. Shut up. I spur up. I spur up. Find the freedom. Your gifts, God shall use you to cast out devils. I said, God shall use you to lay your hand on the sick. May your gifts manifest. May the gifts of discerning of spirits manifest. Warriors, warriors, warriors. Warriors! Warriors! Jesus! Worship us! Worship us! All my life you have been faithful. Worship us! Lord, yes, yes. you have. All my yes. life you have been so, take it so good. Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! The fire of God I will sing to burn up of the goodness. everything. That comes against you. Holy Ghost fire. Whoa. Holy Ghost fire. Ba, 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 ba. Shaya Masa. Ba, ba, ba. Yamasaya. Nothing you shall stand your before you. No demon shall block you. May the favor of God sit on you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, God. Yes, yeah. prophetess. 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 Prophesy. Vision here. See. See. Thus said the Lord. Warriors. Oh, Lord. Warriors. Be healed now. Yeah. Be healed. By the yeah. power. It belongs to Jesus. Warriors, it's war time. Shanda Basa. Oh, Yamasaya. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 It's war time now. Some of you travel from far because you need help. Some of you travel from far because you're under pressure. Right where you are, I don't need to come and lay hands on you. The angels of the Lord are here and God is going to find you. Cancer is drying up. Diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, the kidney issue, the liver issue. Some of you are under the demonic oppression. Your help is here tonight. Some of you feel like giving up, drinking all kind of stuff, killing yourself. But I come against every suicidal spirit. We're driving them out of your life. Some of you need to be employed. By tomorrow, there's going to be a mighty turning around. 
your resume shall move from the bottom and the favor of God shall hit you some of you planning to go to the embassy but favor shall fall on you when you reach to that consulate the favor of God shall fall on you some of you are under pressure at home that heat in the bedroom that oppressing spirit and God send you here for your help tonight tonight we come into your house we're walking into your bedroom we're driving out everything that false cobweb that is tying up your face we come into your house tonight we're declaring warfare worship as you ready I to work as you ready listen to me now those of you who are not yet baptized in Jesus name push through the crowd and come here sir those of you who need the Holy Ghost come over this side and those of you who are under pressure pain depression sicknesses come now everyone under demonic attack sickness in the body this side not save this side holy ghost this side shire Shaya basa. Shaya basa. Yes. 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 I don't care what the doctor tell you. Jesus is greater than the doctor's report. Shayabasa. Your season is changing tonight. Come on, do it quick. Do it quick. Push through and come. Do it quick. Do it quick. Yes. 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 Shaya. Yes. 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 Jesus. Yes. Hello. Could those who have been anointed see the shift even on the altar? So you get your hand anointed, you receive your proclamation. Could you make some room for those whose season it is now? Cancer, trouble, demon. People needing the Holy Ghost, needing to be baptized. So just circle to the back, please. You don't have to leave the altar. Just go to the back and begin to push some power in the ear and believe as the word of the Lord is free to the man of God. So can we make some room at the altar? Those that have already gotten your touch, hallelujah, just move around and allow the others to come. It is their season now. Alter workers, it's your time. Alter workers, it's your time. Alter workers, it's your time. Alter workers, find somebody and work with. Let the Spirit lead you. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. It's your time. Waterloo warriors, you know that this is confirmation. Direct confirmation to what God has been saying. Move from where you are. Hallelujah. King Jesus, warriors, you know, say, your church too. So just move around. Somebody's at the altar. And there's an anointing release. The season has shifted now. Find somebody by the Holy Ghost. Singers get in place. Musician, is it's time to hackle the devil. Those who are ready to be baptized in Jesus, then come now. Step out from where you are and come now. Jesus is ready. Come now. Remember, I don't know you the first time I see you. And God's your time now. Come. 
Come and worship us. Come and worship us. Say something. One more is ready. One more person is ready. Come and worship us. Get ready. Come on, believe us. Get ready. Come on, believe us. Get ready. Water is trouble. The water. Can you turn on the mics for the singers, please? Hallelujah. The wind is blowing again. Holy oh, Ghost, the wind, wind is blowing again. again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. One more the is wind ready. Is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just, Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. Open up your heart and let the wind blow. One more is ready to answer the call. The wind that blew at Warriors! Jordan! 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 The day of the Jordan! The wind is blowing again! Open up your hearts and let the wind blow!
praise you. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at the preacher. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For two Amen. years, you can't eat anything. I want Jesus. the church to listen. Are we listening? Amen. For Praise two the Lord years, Jesus. she can't eat nothing. Jesus, don't want you to wait. I want somebody to go down to the kitchen for a piece of baked chicken and carry come right now. You're going to eat as of tonight. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nelson Stewart, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now upon the confession of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I now baptize you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Great change since I was born. Great, great change since I was born into the great, great change since I was born. It's a great change since I was born. Hold it for another one going down in Jesus' name. Hold it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Josiah Bailey, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now upon the confession of your faith, now baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I now baptize you in Jesus' name. Come on, the water is trouble, the water is trouble, the water is trouble. Come on, another one step right in. The water is troubled, my friend. Step right in. Oh, God Almighty power is moving every hour. Has come keeping joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. Oh, you, you can, can tell the world about this. You can tell the short about that. Tell them Jesus has come. Tell another comforter. Yes, Jesus. He brings joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. Oh, you can tell the world about this. You can tell the short about that. Tell them Jesus has come. Tell another comforter. Oh, he brings joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. Yes! He can tell the Jesus. Jesus has come. The Comforter has come. He brings joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. You can tell the world about this. You can tell the nations about that. You got to tell them. Jesus has come. You got to tell them. The Comforter has come. Joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. He brings 
joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. Joy to my soul. He brings 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 joy to my soul. Joy, joy, joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. Bring joy, joy to my soul. He brings joy to my soul. Joy to my soul. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him. Somebody give God another praise. Hallelujah. Give him one more praise. Hallelujah. My soul say yes, say yes, say yes. My soul say yes, say yes to your will. Come on. My soul say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. Let's go. Where it leads me, where it leads me, I will follow. When he calls me, I will answer. Oh, my Lord, please teach me how to know. Everybody 
my soul, my soul say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. Say yes.
Give Lord another praise. Somebody give him praise. Shout one more hallelujah. Shout another praise. Shout another praise. Shout glory. Shout hallelujah. Mighty, 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 mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. We're getting ready to go, but give God one more praise. Give him another praise. Give him another praise. What will it be when we get told for yonder? And join the strong around the glassy sea. We'll meet our loved ones and congrats forever. For this is, oh, this is just whatever he is to be. Well, our country, where no twilight shadows deepen. An ending day where night shall never be. A city no storm clouds ever gather. Oh, this is just what heaven needs to be. Oh, what will it be when we get over yonder? We'll join the throng upon the blessing sea. We'll greet our loved ones and don't cry forever. This is, oh, this is just whatever it is. And when at last, and when at last, I see the face of Jesus, before whose image others they are flee. And when they crown him, Lord of Lords, I'll be there. Oh, this is just whatever it is to me. Let's go. What will it be when we get over yonder and join the truck upon the glassy sea? We'll meet our loved ones and throne cries forever. Oh, this is just whatever it One more time, what will? What will it be when we get over yonder? Enjoy the charm on the blessed sea. We'll meet our lovers. We'll greet our loved ones that brought right forever. For this is, for this is just whatever it means to me. What will, what will it be when we get over yonder? We'll join the charm on the blessed sea. We'll greet our loved ones and cross lives forever. For this is, oh, this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? We'll join the drum of the blessed sea. We'll greet our loved ones and cross lives forever. What will it be when we get over yonder? We'll join the charm upon the glassy sea. We'll greet our loved ones and from right forever. Oh, this is just whatever it is. me one of these days you're gonna look for me one of these days you're gonna look for 
stretch our hands over here just stretch your hands towards this young man amen from nine he's not able to walk he fell out of a chair and he's not able to walk from he was nine years old we want to pray for him can we pray for him can we pray for him? Can we pray for him? And we will pray for her too. Hallelujah. Can we pray? Can we pray? Can we pray? He has no life in his two legs. No life at all. And we want to pray for him. Hallelujah. 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 I'm just waiting for the saints to, to connect in the spirit. We're going to pray for him. We want, we're asking God to touch the spinal cord, to send the signal for his legs to move. We are believing the Lord. I said we are believing the Lord. I said we are believing the Lord. God can do anything. And as the preacher preached tonight, it's a crossover season. Shandala Masata. Kushatayama. My, my sister down there, 
in the red. Touch her for me. Come. Come here. Shan. Hallelujah. Give somebody a stuff to hold. Grab his right leg. There's no life in it. Touch me. Pray some life in that leg. Sh give her a kneeling pad. Give her a kneeling pad. Shandala Masata. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. We're gonna pray, 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 we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray. Keep the, the spirit going, keep the praises up. Father, I lose you in Jesus' name. Be thou loose. Be thou loose. Be thou loose in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, come on up. That's the Holy Ghost coming up. I hear some tongues coming. I hear I wish I had a praiser up in here. I, will, I hear it go, go Yes, 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 yes. Yes, man. God Almighty. Somebody praise him up in here. Somebody praise him up in here. Somebody give God a praise. Whoosh. Jesus. Jesus. That's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, man. Yes, yes. Speak on everything. Speak it with power. Speak it with fire. Speak it. Yes, Jesus. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise. Pray until you feel light coming. Kashata. Somebody praise him up in here. Somebody praise him up in here. Somebody praise him up in here. Somebody praise him. We command life. We ask the brain to send signals to your legs your spinal cord to be healed by the blood of Jesus we release the fire Jesus Christ release him now Put on his feet right there. Put it back. There's no life in there. Look at me. Fate your way in. Fate your way out. Just try lifting up your right leg. Believe it. Tell your mind. See it moving there. Come on. Come on. Move it. Rock it. Rock it. Rock it. The Holy Ghost is upon you. The Spirit of God can cause your feet to move. I said the Spirit of God.